press the power button on the screen to turn on the device. Check that the battery is sufficiently charged. Connect the handle to the screen. The light on the distal end of the handle will light up and the real-time anti-fog system will automatically start. At this point, you'll want to confirm the image from the camera is displaying normally and clearly on the screen. Choose the proper size sheath according to the patient's weight. Pull out or push in the slider to ensure that it's suitable for the sheath size. The fully extended level is suitable for the M and L sheaths. The short level is suitable for the S and SS sheaths. Insert the sheath onto the handle until it clicks. To intubate, stabilize the patient's head. Look in the patient's mouth and insert the video laryngoscope from the midline passing the root of the tongue. Once it's past the root of the tongue, look at the video laryngoscope screen and locate the epiglottis. Insert the tip of the laryngoscope into the molecular epiglottic, then lift the epiglottis gently to view the glottis. Insert the endotracheal tube loaded with the preformed stylet alongside the blade. Once the tube is past the glottis, remove the stylet and insert the tube into the appropriate depth of the patient's airway. The video laryngoscope supports photo and video capture and saves this data to its internal memory. To take a photo, quickly press the photo video button on the screen. To take a video, hold the photo video button on the screen for two to three seconds. You will hear a confirmatory sound and the recording time will begin. Hold the button to stop recording and remove the video laryngoscope. To view and manage the photos and videos on the video laryngoscope screen or on the computer via micro USB cable, press the inside menu button on the screen. Press the photo or video button to review and delete the photos and or videos taken. To turn off the device, press and hold the power button until the screen shuts off.